Hi everybody, it's Drew Monroe from Drew Cooks Catering here again with another quick recipe for you all to try at home. Today we're going to be making a seared ahi tuna salad with roasted yams and peppers and organic greens. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is chop up our yams. We're going to saute them quickly first and then fire them in the oven to finish roasting them at 375. I've got a couple of yams here that I've just peeled and taken the skin off. We're going to chop them roughly. We want nice big chunks of yam in our salad once they get roasted up. Alright, nice hot saute pan, little olive oil, and let's get our yams in there. Start them off. This is just going to cut down our cooking time in the oven a little bit too. Alright, season it up. A little kosher salt, pepper, give them a flip. Okay, so after about five minutes, you can see our yams have started to pick up a little color in the pan. It's time to transfer them to the oven and finish roasting for about 10 to 12 minutes. Got our oven at 375. Throw it right in there. What we're going to make next is a soy and lemon reduction. This is going to be kind of an accompaniment to the ahi tuna on the final plate of dish. It's really easy to make. Take one lemon, roll it out, get that juice going right into a small saucepan, get both halves in there, just use your hand here, make sure no seeds get in, and we're going to add in about a quarter cup of dark soy sauce, okay, now just that got that over medium high heat, all we're going to do is reduce that down, that quarter cup plus that juice of one lemon, until it's literally about a tablespoon worth of this dark syrupy glaze, and we're going to use that on our final plating. Okay, it's been about seven minutes, and you can see that our soy lemon reduction has reduced down now, and it's like this kind of syrupy, syrupy glaze almost, and it's going to get even thicker as it cools down. So we just need to set this aside, and we're going to leave it right until we're about to plate. Okay, let's talk about the ahi tuna for a bit. I've got some sashimi grade ahi tuna here. You'll see it marked as yellowfin tuna or even Hawaiian tuna in some places. I like calling it ahi, I don't know why. I always called it that. I think it sounds the best, but you're free to call it what you like. Now, it is expensive. Uh, you're going to pay probably around $20 a pound, give or take, depending on where you get it from. Uh, but the good thing about ahi tuna is that you don't need to you know, throw a massive slab of it onto a plate. To really enjoy it and get the full flavor of it, a little goes a long way. So you could buy a couple pounds of it and realistically feed 10 people with this dish. Alright, moment of truth, we're going to cook off our tuna. Now the important thing is, don't be scared, just season it with a little salt and pepper. You want to keep it nice and rare on the inside and nicely seared on the outside. Uh, you're only going to be cooking this for about one minute per side. So salt, a little fresh ground pepper. I got a hot pan here with some oil, with some uh, vegetable oil, excuse me, because it's a nice neutral oil. I'm going to throw in some butter because we're going to add as much flavor and color as possible in the shortest amount of time. Now we're just going to add our tuna into the pan, season the other side up, and literally a minute per side and we'll be done. Okay, it's been in there about a minute on the other side. Now all we're going to do is take it out and let it rest while we're plating the rest of our dish. You can see the inside here is still nice and rare. That's exactly what we're looking for. It's going to be beautifully colored on the inside and nicely seared on the outside. All right, let's go to the plate. First thing we're going to do, we're going to get a little fancy here. We've got our soy and lemon reduction that we did earlier. We're going to take a brush, get the brush nicely coated with that soy and lemon reduction, and we're just going to do a nice big paintbrush stroke right across the side of the plate. We're going to take our trusty ring mold right down in the middle. You'll see us using this a lot because it allows you to get such great height with your plating that you wouldn't normally get if you were just throwing it on there. First thing we're going to add to it is our roasted yams that we did earlier. We're going to pile some of these in here. Next layer, I've got some roasted red peppers. You can either use the uh, store-bought or roast your own. I've cut them into thin strips. We're going to pile some of that on there as well. And just spread it out with your fingers, make sure it's nice and even. We've got some avocado. I've just roughly chopped it. 
We're gonna throw some, oh, get in there. I'm gonna throw some of this on there as well. And then we're just gonna kinda compact it down, like so. And then take the ring mold off, and look at that. Again, you have such a perfect little shape and it allows you to build that height. Now for the greens, we're gonna be using some Belgian endive lettuce. It's a bit of a bitter green, but it's gonna go so nicely with that salty, bals or salty soy reduction and our sweet tuna that we've got seared. So I'm gonna cut off this core, and then I'm gonna cut it into this rough dice. Okay, that should be enough. Into a bowl, I've got some organic pea shoots in here as well. We're gonna dress it very simply. Olive oil, that's not my salt. Salt, lemon juice. Mix it just roughly with your fingers. And then we're gonna pile some of this on top. And again, try to build it up and get some nice height with your plating. And last, but definitely not least, we're going to put our tuna on the plate, which is the star of the show. You want it to stand out, you want it to be really dramatic. So instead of just slicing, what I like to do is cut triangles. So just cut a few like that, score it across the flesh like so, and do maybe three or four nice triangles. And you can see how beautifully seared that is and rare in the middle but you've still got that flavor on the outside. And we're gonna plate those right across our soy and lemon reduction. And all we're gonna do to finish that off is drizzle it with a little balsamic reduction virgin olive oil.